Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So everything is still on fire. I'm trying to work on my game today, but it kind of feels like everything is blowing up, so I really can't focus. This morning I was trying to do the same thing that I always do every day and answer just some regular questions from my tutorial videos, but with so many comments on the last video, it's really hard to find them. There have been some updates since yesterday. Like for example, apparently now reinstalls no longer count for the total, and fraud and malicious attacks also supposedly don't count, but no clarity on how exactly they will identify those. Apparently Game Pass also either does not count, or Microsoft will supposedly pay for that. Again, no clarity on how exactly this will happen. Demos, charities, and tests also apparently do not count. So things are still constantly changing, no idea what will have changed by the time that this video goes live. And honestly, also no idea what they can even do at this point to regain the trust that so many people have lost. But I also want to clarify something myself. In my last video, I focused mainly on analyzing these changes through the lens of my own personal experience as a solo indie dev. And from that hyper-specific lens, meaning none of my games will ever make a million dollars, for my particular use case, my conclusion was nothing changes. Now, because that, because the fact that I was calm and not extremely angry, because that, some people took it as me defending these changes or something, calling me a shill or accusing me of being paid by Unity, it was my most disliked video by far. So let me just be perfectly clear. Do I think these changes as a whole are a net negative? Yes. Do they affect the specific way that I work? No. That's really it. If I was Unity CEO, I would not have implemented these changes, but I don't work for Unity, I have no power. All I can do is just like you, look at these changes, analyze how they will impact me and the way that I work, and then act accordingly. The only thing that I can promise you is really that in these videos, I will always be honest and share my genuine point of view, whether that's positive, negative, or neutral. So that means if I've analyzed things and I'm calm, then I'm not going to pretend to be angry just because everyone else is also angry. If I told you that I was planning to quit Unity, that would not be true. The game that I'm currently working on is made with Unity. Whatever game I make next will also be made with Unity. The many tutorials that I'm still planning to make in the future, they will also be made with Unity. The engine itself is still an excellent piece of tech capable of building almost anything. But like I said, that is just my personal point of view. I can fully understand people for whom this is their breaking point. If that's you, then that's fine. I am not trying to change your mind. Unreal and Godot are both excellent engines. Nowadays, you really can't go wrong when picking any engine. The games industry is huge, there's a mountain of different ways to make games, different ways to monetize, and this change that they made, this one is going to affect every single developer in different ways. All I can really do is just speak based on my own experience, and I only have experience as a solo Steam indie dev. I cannot speak as to how this change will affect every single corner of the entire game industry. I'm really just a random guy in my room making videos and making games, just like you. If this affects you negatively, if you are against this change, then I highly, highly encourage you to make some noise, make your voice heard on the forums. I know tons of Unity people are reading all the feedback and passing it on to their higher ups. Although please don't harass the public facing Unity people, they also have no power to change things directly. Honestly, this blew up so much that I really have to believe that they will either revert it completely or make some serious changes. But at the same time, like I said, I'm not sure there's anything they can do to regain trust at this point. For some people, this was a step too far and they can never trust Unity again. Perhaps they could completely walk back these changes instead of just trying to clarify what exactly counts as an insult. Perhaps they could make a new EULA that legally guarantees they can never again change the terms after the fact. Basically, like the title says, I really just want to make games, that's really it. I started using Unity back in 2012 because it was the only option, and I've kept using it over these past 10 years because the engine, as a tool, still allows me to build any game that I can imagine. For me, that's pretty much the only thing that counts. The engine itself has not changed in any way, and the new pricing does not affect devs at my scale, so that is why I'm calm and not super angry like most people. Also part of the reason why I'm not super angry or scared about the future is simply because I used to be a Flash developer. My livelihood was completely tied to Flash, then it eventually died as I found my way into Unity. So perhaps that's also why I'm more calm than most people. I know that if this truly is the beginning of the end for Unity, if that truly is the case, then I trust my own skills to be able to survive into whatever comes next. But right now, all I really want to do is just make games, so I'm going to edit this video and get back to working on my game while watching how all of this will unfold. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.